Hello everyone. <clears throat> Welcome to your next uh, Roblox scripting tutorial. Today, I was smart enough to open up our visit prior to uh, starting the video. Remember, you just go and click Tools, Test, Play Solo to open it. So, today, I wanted to cover the movement of bricks okay so basically we're gonna keep it in a loop though alright go a little deep into this so for i equals one number stuff if you remember from my last video I taught you what stuff is in for loops if you haven't watched that video Go do that now. Uh, that should be the fifth tutorial, as I believe this is the sixth, but I'll double check that later. So, B1 dot position, B1 dot position, or dot Y, or wait, 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 I forgot which one was which. So let's just show you what is up, what is what. Y is its height. Like, if we were to change its height to 10, the brick pops up to there. Okay? Let's move it back down to 1. So, if I change this to negative 10, it moves in towards that. So we'll change that back to 5. So X is the one we want to be changing because see it moves along that way. But for, I'm just going to move these two together so that it's nice and easy to tell. Okay. Back into our script. Equals B1 dot position dot Y is it it's already negatives, right? Yep. Minus 1 B2 that position that wait why am I doing Y? I need X. Sorry, I get this stuff mixed up all the time. Equals B2 that position dot X minus one. And let's just put in my weight so that we're good to go. Weight point one, which is just a tenth of a second. Now let's copy this. Go into our visit. Paste it. Where are our bricks? Right there. They shouldn't be moving. In fact, they should still be doing that. But once we copy this, delete it, and paste it, see? Now, it's not working. Let's have another lesson of debugging. I'm going to try and fit these in as often as I can. Because I want you all to be really, really good at it. Okay? Workspace, that script, 16, EOF. What does EOF mean? It means end of function. So, ex end of function could mean you're missing an end or you have one too many ends or more than just one okay so expected near end since it says that it tells us we have one too many ends and look at this we have two tabs for one for loop let's take that out in our previous script there was an if actually wait that was a good thing Okay, I forgot we're in a for loop. So let's just take this out. Let's put that back in. Yeah, you forgot too. So we'll continue debugging, and I'll get and I'll get to laugh at you tonight. So if stuff i dot name equals equals brick one, or stuff i dot name equals equals brick two. Then, 
Remember the then and this. And we'll just be changing this, the B1, to stuff I, both times. And then we'll just add in another end, copy the whole thing, go back to our visit, go back to this script, paste the whole thing, copy, delete, and paste. Watch, I'm going to keep my character still. X cannot be assigned to. Back to debugging. Let's look for line 12, which we see, even though it's not red, it's telling, it gave us what was wrong with it, and then it said script, named the script, and then told us what line it was doing something on. That usually means that's where the error is, okay? So line 12, stuff I, let's go to the brick one, stuff I is this, dot position, dot X. Don't know why that's giving us this error, because this worked just fine before I started this video. No, let's do this another way. Equals vector vector three dot new. And then X, as you can see, is first, because it goes X, Y, Z. So stuff I dot position at wrong break of bracket dot position dot x minus one that will be our x area then one and then negative five or no we'll need stuff i dot position dot z because there's two okay so vector three dot new vector three is the three-dimensional platform for uh, bricks that's there that's how they are told where they are and then s this is the positions okay so let's copy this and hope it works seems every time I teach you guys something it doesn't work don't know why that is don't really care all I know is it's annoying. So now let's see if it works. Yes, it does. They are moving. And I'll wait until you can all tell. They're really moving. See? You know, uh, let's make them move minus 5. So you guys can all really tell. Copy. Delete. Look at that. Look at that. Keep my character in for how you know. Look. Okay? So let's excite our visit because we're done with it. And then since what we finished off with was 5, we'll keep it that way. Well, this was actually a learning experience for both you and me and all the other people watching this video with you on me. Well, I'm not watching it, but... Anyway. Good to know we got that working. And... I guess I will see you guys later. Hope you have fun with your new scripting technique. Bye.